what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy V9, the tech guru. And y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Alright. We got a problem here. If this shit is legit that I'm looking at right now, y'all see it right here. If that shit is actually fucking legit, we got a problem. Because there's no way on God's green earth that anybody is going to fucking pay. I'm going to call it what it is. It ain't $79.99 bullshit. It's a cover up for $80. Shit's $80. A fucking penny off. There's no way in the world you're going to make people pay $80 for a fucking Call of Duty game that comes with no DLCs. You don't get anything else with it. No, no extra maps. No extra guns. No extra advantage. You got to pay 80 bucks out your ass for a fucking video game that ain't about to give you no extras. Plain and simple. There it is. Now, here's a problem with that. Activision is an 18 point something billion dollar corporation. There's no way in the world any corporation on earth could be that money hungry. What they are doing, guys, for those who don't know marketing and don't understand marketing, they are doing something called a pilot. It's obvious. They are doing a pilot to basically see how much this shit is going to heat up. If this price is going to make people want to buy it still. And guess what's going to happen? This is going to fuck you over if y'all ain't paying attention or y'all eyes ain't open wide enough. If you guys bite, you take the bait, what's going to do is going to fuck us over. Because what's going to happen is they're going to start doing that for every Call of Duty game standard. Charging $80 for that shit. It went from 50 to 60 to 80 they just going to see if your ass going to bite. And if, you, and if everybody goes out and buy this game for $80 with no DLCs, and mind you, they ain't even including the season pass. Well, so if the Legacy Edition, see, you got to think about that too. The Legacy Edition didn't even say it came with, the, came with any DLCs with it either. So you got to basically get the, the Legacy Edition that comes with COD 4 Remastered, which is, honestly, COD 4 Remastered is worth $30 in my opinion. I pay for that shit. But then you got to buy the Season Pass. That's another $50. So you're going to end up paying $170 for a game that you ain't really, not actually 160 plus tax, 107 call it what it is. 170 bucks for a game that ain't got no extras in it, son. Like, come on. you They can't do that. That's, that's bullshit. P people, please. We have to fight this. If this is real, if this is legit, and I don't know if this picture is even legit. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about this. A lot of the big streamers have put leaked information, and typically their information is right because it's fed to them from Activision. But still, typically they're right. <clears throat> but at the same time, we don't know 100% for sure. We, we can't confirm anything. But if it is indeed right, then that's a goddamn shame, man. Activision ought to be ashamed of themselves for charging that much money for a Call of Duty game. And this is some bullshit. <laughs> that we don't get anything else with this shit. We get nothing else at all. That's fucking ridiculous. I'm, I, I, my mind is just blown. Don't get me wrong. I pray to God this game is boots on the ground. That might actually intrigue me a little bit more to buy this game. I got some Black Ops 3 gameplay on here because, honestly, it's the, it's the newest game. I could have put Black Ops 2 on here, but I actually did pretty good in this match. And typically, I suck pretty bad in multiplayer on Black Ops 3 only. Black Ops 1 and 2, hey, I'm a fucking beast. All the other games prior to, from Black Ops 2 and prior, I'm damn good in on multiplayer. Except Advanced Warfare, I was trash, and on this shit, I'm, I'm a little bit trash. I ain't horrible, but I'm trash. But anyway, we'll call it what it is. But still, at the same time, they ought to be ashamed of themselves if this is really legit. Like I said, they're doing a pilot to see if you guys are going to fucking bite for this shit. Do not take the bait on this game. Do not pre-order this shit. Do not do it. Because they're gonna, what they're going to do is you're going to be fucked when every other Call of Duty game comes out and that shit $79.99. And every other game on Xbox One and PS4 is still $60. And you got to pay $80 for they shit. So... You go ahead and take the bait if you want to, but I'm telling you, if that shit's 80 bucks, it won't it won't be in my shit. The only reason I would buy this game is for COD 4. That's the only reason I would buy this game, and more than likely what's going to happen is most of the fucking community will be playing COD 4 anyway, especially if the game is like this shit, like where you jump around like fucking Mario Brothers with guns, like flying around and jumping and running on walls and shit. You do this shit in the game, you might as well say this ain't Call of Duty no more. You know, go right back to the original shit that was fun, that was good, that people enjoyed, that, that made the franchise what it is today. I mean, how dare you make a game that's futuristic and then put a game with it that showed how that shit began. That's my shit. I'm out.